Hi, this next key is the key of E, and the key of E, um, let's just go over the notes in the key of E first. It's based off of the, uh, the basis tone scale, which is whole step, whole step, half step, and three whole steps and a half step. E is also a very, very common key to play in, in blues and folk and just about any type of music. Remember, we're dealing with just the three chords, the one, the four, and the five, the chords that fall in the first slot, the fourth slot, and the fifth slot in the scale. But let's just talk about the notes in the key of E. First of all, let's apply the whole step, whole step, half step pattern uh, right off. So E, whole step to F sharp, whole step to G sharp, half step to A, whole step to B, whole step to C sharp, and the last one is a whole step to D sharp. And then we're going to do a half step back to E, and that brings us back to where we started. And it's always good to have a keyboard diagram, and you can get those in the PDF download section open uh, next to this video, just so you can refer to how the keyboard relates and so on and so forth, as well as our other supplemental uh, stuff over there. So uh, visually speaking, it's good to have sort of a map in front of you while I'm telling you this stuff. At any rate, let's go over our three chords. The first chord is E major, and it's down here, and we know... here, and remember we're using your middle ring and pinky finger for that. Okay. And then B7. Is the third chord. So, strum the B7 chord um, carefully to make sure all the strings are coming out. Um, and, uh, and make sure that this string here that runs between your ring finger, this finger here, and your pinky finger over here, the string that runs between them is coming out. That's one that usually gets stuck. Just go ahead and do a string check, and, and if it's muted out, you'll just hear it and just kind of move your fingers around until you can hear it come out. So let's go ahead and get started. The practice progression is a two, is an eight bar progression. We're starting out with E four times, then to A four times, E four times, then B four times, and then E, A, and then B seven, and then E. So we did the flip on the end, remember? Anytime time you come up with a four chord progression, the second time through, just flip the last two chords. A little songwriting trick for you there. Works every time. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. And let's look at some pathways, too. So between E and B7, there's a really good one. The note that's underneath your middle finger is one that's stationary. So E, B7, E, B7. And I can, I can go from E to B7 like this, and you can see that I'm forming the, the triangle back here. And you're going to see a lot of triangles with seven chords. They're just everywhere. And then, of course, your, your pinky finger goes on the top. Pinky finger on the top here. Don't forget to add that in. So E to B7, E to B7, and do it a couple times without playing anything. Just get used to that transition. Now let's go from E to A, and all we're doing is moving these three over to here. Back to E to A. Back to E to A. And try and do it a couple times without playing anything. E to A, if you need to pause this and do this a few times, I suggest you do this for about 30 seconds. Just go between the chords and then start to put it together. You know most of these and how they go together by now anyway if you've watched the videos in the right order. So we put these in this order so you can get better uh, quicker. So let's go ahead and start the progression. I'm going to do this at a mediocre pace. Uh, if you can't keep up, that's fine. Be sure to download the videos that are in the description of this video to the right of this video. Um, if you click on the link, uh, you'll download a zip file that contains four different MP3 files of this progression played at four different speeds and tempos. And uh, you start at the slowest, of course, and then work your way up. Okay, here we go. So let's start with E. So if you need to pause the video to get ready, please do. Turn your guitar and so on. Uh, my guitar is tuned to A440, so make sure yours is too. And 440 is oscillations per second. A uh, little technical term for what all tuners tune by A440. 
Okay, standard tuning, here we go. No drop D's. One, two, three, four. Johnson with Second Floor Studios. Keep practicing. Don't forget to download the uh, the four different ones in the PDF or the uh, zip file, as well as the PDF that corresponds with this lesson to better understand what I'm talking about. And we'll see you in the next lesson. Take care.